Now, nearly one year passed since I said that uh, UWP, Universal Windows uh, Platform, over, like it. And since then, this was in January this year that I told that, uh, that I will stop with developing in Universal Windows Platform app. Since then, there was the anniversary uh, update, April. And then October they had the Windows uh, Fall Creators update. And whenever they come up, they say, now it's time that uh, Universal Windows Platform app uh, apps will come up and developers go that way. And so I started again on October to try again working on UWP. But uh, again, I found out that UWP is uh, P stands for uh, either little piece or for <laughs> piece of hmm, or for phone. UWP is uh, a good developing system for phone, but as we all know, the phone, Windows Phone, is cancelled. And for me as a developer uh, and for a freelancer, the only st thing what is important for me is uh, that I need a job on working on that point. So. Uh, the recent month I had a, I looked up the projects jobs which are in my uh, in Germany so as I collected the data from the uh, search from the job databases and as you see there Windows platform uh, Windows presentation uh, foundation that's really old stuff uh, WPF is on 2500 jobs and Universal Windows Phone app is still, uh, let's say, not not 10%. Uh, it's 5% or something less. Even Windows Forms uh, is better than that. So for my decision, uh, Universal Windows Phone app is uh, dead, and I hope, I really hope that they will cancel that shit, or that they uh, redesign everything. All what I, uh, a lot of people came to me and asked me <coughs> uh, what, and uh, claimed that what what the big reason or the failure of that point is. And so uh, most people said that the Windows 32 features uh, were missing. So one, the biggest no-goes on that point on Universal Windows platform is that uh, they they booted that stuff up and keep on it uh, on a phone um, and a phone frame and this is universal windows phone is not existing anymore and they don't give the features from uh, they don't include this uh, from the desktop app to the universal windows phone app uh, i'm i'm hoxing a little bit about the P, which is phone, because whenever you ask there for new features and uh, say, okay, uh, is there hello anybody out there? Is there something new going on on Windows uh, Phone? Give me a feedback. Uh, so first, I'm really upset about the point that I always say, we heard you. We heard you. Is uh, this is. Uh, this is like beat into, into my face. Um, it's terrible because uh, on Windows, uh, Universal Windows platform is dead. Nobody, and whenever you ask something there, they will say, uh, we don't do that. Let's say uh, two big things. Because, because, and they're working on uh, the phone frame means that they have um, a sandboxing. And they don't leave anybody out of the sandboxing except Microsoft and partners itself. So why do why am I uh, saying like something like this? If I guess and look uh, look on the um, on the Windows 10 Photos app because the Windows Photos app is when I started. I may open that point. And then the software starts and grabs um, a, um, a file. This is Universal Windows phone app. And they have some pretty nice features in there. 
but they are allowed to open that point. Uh, now this is on a, for example, this is a file which is on my D drive and Microsoft is able to open that point. If you do the same on your, uh, on your own app and say, okay, uh, now I'm a new developer, I'm a developer, then I may open it with, with a, a file, an, op, uh, an application which I may uh, write for, my, for a company, for a client, for something else. Yeah. Then when I open it there, uh, open with, for example, with my own application, then I'm not able, uh, the, the, the user has to select the file uh, manually, but uh, you as a developer are not allowed to tell the, the user uh, what, which file or folder it has to open. So you have to click on there and have to say, uh, I have to tell them, okay, uh, go to the D drive and uh, give the allowance to, uh, to, that, uh, to that folders. So Microsoft said, okay, whenever you ask them, they say, uh, this is because we have a sandbox and there are a lot, do not evil people uh, around there and we want to protect you. So they protected everything. That's the uh, the big rule of Microsoft when they make a defender software and say, okay, uh, we want to protect you in uh, with macros. Then they say, we are canceling macros if you have, uh, there's a, um, a file, a, a virus on there. For example, this ransomware, we don't uh, look on that point. We, d we say, okay, uh, it's, uh, you may cancel it, uh, protect it or not allow it or dis disallow um, macros. And that's the same on there. They say, okay, we don't do that. They, you may ask them, they say, we don't do that. And now whenever it's, uh, whenever the updates come up, so when it's Windows 10, half a year later, then they come up again and they say, now we have those big, beautiful features and uh, Mr. Gallo comes there and say, oh, please take my, uh, please. Now it's creators update. We have pretty good features like, uh, where is it? Like what they have now, there's, uh, this is the, uh, those colors, there's a great good feature. Okay. It's good for an app, writing an app, but and, uh, the, uh, developing with asynchronous mode is really good, but, and you're not able to run that shit on universal windows, um, uh, on WPF because this is a feature uh, when you try to embed this new features of Windows 10, when you run it on uh, WPF, then they say, we don't care about that. Uh, it may work or it doesn't, uh, or it won't work. So I thought that I would bring something really great new uh, in uh, the fall update. So what I had there is Xamarin, Xamarin, okay, uh, <clears throat> when you have a look on that, you will see that Xamarin, for example, uh, there are a lot more people working with Xamarin uh, nowadays. So those are 500 uh, jobs um, offered by which Usually that's in Germany, it's Daimler and those big companies, they want to do the, in parallel the developing um, iOS and Android. <coughs> but if you want to do something real, then you go not to the small one, you go to the real one. Um, okay, so this is Xamarin and Universal Windows Platform is one fifth of that point. So you see that's Xamarin, okay cross-platform, but why do I need universal windows platform then? So it's, it, and yeah, they have swipe control now. Okay. That's smartphone, tablet, uh, animations. Then they have a color pickle. Great. Now this is all what you see there, acrylic. Then they had, um, the R project Rome here. That's all what I did. 
uh, that's nothing else and st still let's say the, the, uh, the main point points were not there ah what this one um, the bridge for example uh, modernize your existing desktop application you may run this uh, your, the, the big uh, news on that is that you have, may use a bridge to convert it so that you're able to uh, bring it into the store and that you have uh, a better uh, updating of your soft software or rollout. So that's the icon which you see there, or this on, on the start pad, this one. But that's all what you, what they get <coughs> and all what they did. So this is not universal Windows platform. They should um, they should and uh, shouldn't annoy the developers because I wasted my time in developing two years now in universal windows platform app and i hate it i hate that i wasted my time um, so it's and the one point is um, that they sh they shouldn't cancel it somehow it's like the windows phone since they have cancelled it you don't need universal windows platform universal windows phone app any anymore because it's a shit, uh, shitty phone application and it doesn't really work for Windows uh, until that they talk with their uh, developers, their internal group. I'm not sure. I really uh, have the feeling that they would uh, cancel it internally. In the, uh, so because always when you have those big uh, companies, uh, there are uh, some p uh, groups walking the left side, some on the right side, some against there. So I think the internal deal is they wait on Universal Windows Phone app. Uh, there are some big leaders there. They say, okay, it is phone. We are uh, we still have Windows Phone. They come always still in 2000 and, uh, tw 2017 and 18. They come with their Windows Phone and Lumia and say, okay, it's still working. But this is not the real world. The real world a place somewhere else. So uh, Microsoft is annoying the uh, developers and it's wasting the time of the developers. That's the point. Because when I'm a developer, I take my time in there and then uh, either they skip it or they are not moving on. Uh, it's the same when they uh, pass from Windows platform uh, WPF, Windows Presentation Foundation from Windows Forms. Uh, they didn't move on there. There was no solution. And nowadays, as you see, as you saw there, uh, even on this not optimal um, software, there are a lot more people needed 2,400 jobs instead of 100 jobs. And still this one is even declining. So uh, in my area, there was is no job anymore. So this is Germany, 600 kilometers, <laughs> uh, wasting my time. Um, and uh, I'm not sure. I, I think they should either they kick it or they boost it. Uh, they should talk with their developer team and they should talk with the uh, developers. Maybe they can start it up again. Otherwise, they should cancel it and throw it out. That's my opinion. Don't waste time on Universal Windows Platform app.